Hi everybody, it's Jeff again. Um, just a, it's going to be a strange angle this one. Uh, people asking what's happening, why have we had no update? Well, today, for the first day, we're actually on day six today. So it was Friday I had the op, and I think we're Wednesday today, so day six. And for the first time since I've been on the ward, uh, the surgeon consultant hasn't been in to see me, so... Uh, He's obviously busy on something else at the moment. So I've got no proper updates. And when I I was hoping to have seen him before breakfast, and then I was going to tag this bit on um, afterwards. So now what I'm going to do, I've had a, a lot of people asking about, uh, I think you've, you've seen the scar on the arm, and a lot of people have been asking what's the one like on the chest. And as I said... Uh, yesterday I was due to have everything unplugged, pulled out, and so yesterday I had a chest x-ray, had uh, ECGs, had three different blood tests, and it might sound a bit gruesome now, but they pulled out all of the leads that were in there, there's a couple of leads that go onto the heart, so they check in direct what the heart's doing, the beating and that goes through through the skin and actually sits on the heart itself so they direct uh there was a couple of drains i think you've seen my uh, can of ribena that i've been carrying around that came out yesterday so it was nice last night going to the toilet without needing to pick up my bottle of ribena and walk into the toilet with it um what else did they do yesterday oh yeah they took the cannula out on this wrist so I didn't catch that so that's taken out and then there's another or the there's a, another drain in there that was taken out and uh, the wires that went to the heart uh, they disconnected the machine the other day and then rolled up the wires but yesterday they pulled those out and for those who are having the operation don't worry none of it was painful it's just pulling things through it's like rubbing a finger up your hand or something like that you can feel something moving and that's about it um but now like i say i'm getting, getting a bit bored i've done two lots of exercises and so only allowed three or four a day so i'm just sitting here and i can't watch the telly and uh, so so now if this is where the warning comes in if anybody wants to see the chest scar i'll put pictures on the um the website when i get home i can't update the website at the moment on the mobile phone uh, but there you do have to ask for permission to go into that bit because believe it or not i'm very squeamish and uh, i don't like seeing photos like this but it seems like there's some ghoulish people out there who who do so i'm going to do it today so basically i've got a just a couple of little dressings on a couple of places where they pulled oh they pulled a neck cannula type thing out yesterday and then there's one on my stomach and that's about it so this is where the warning comes in now if you don't want to see the chest and see all where the, the holes were and everything then turn away now and hopefully later today I'll be able to give a an update so here we go so hopefully you've gone if you're squeamish and if you're a ghoulish person start looking so in fact, I'll stand up now and get some light on it I don't know if this is works so there's the chest scar there I've just got that little dressing on the neck and then below there there was little marks there were where there was things were put in drains, stomach drains or something, and and then underneath that bandage is where the cables were that went to the heart, and uh, because they only took those off yesterday, that's still covered. So it's not too bad, and I said the good thing is it's not like the old days where you had to go to the doctors a, a week later and have all the stitches out. Apparently they all stitched underneath and then super glued on the top and now they've been sprayed with a a clear dressing 
and just leave that on until it wears off I think and let's say they'll update me today so not too bad let's say I only had a double so I don't know if you can see the arm there I can't see that so that's looking good so hopefully I'll be back to normal pretty soon so so there you are all you ghoulish people who like uh, gruesome things you've got it now and for people who are due to have the operation or know somebody who's going to have the operation don't worry about it the, everybody's uh, going to be different but they've got pain relief to various degrees with me um, the only pain relief I've had is paracetamol um, I have been cleared to have morphine but I haven't needed to ask for that and I was saying and I hate pain so you know I'm a wimp when it comes to that so you know don't don't fear what you don't know is real so uh, so that's it I'm going to switch this off and then to be honest I don't know what's happening today let's say yesterday he said uh, he was hoping to send me home today which uh, is two days early but uh, now do I worry that he hasn't come in and said that or is he just working on something else so I'm just going to sit here and do another exercise walk up and down the corridor oh, I've got to pass the time away and do a bit of reading as well so that's it so I'll do an update when I know what's happening okay see you all bye now